Okay boys and girls, welcome to Moto Vlog number 9 So today I've come out to a small town called Inuyama which um, has supposedly got a, a like an old fashioned I don't know what century from or whatever but a kind of like a almost like a world heritage kind of street um, I don't know if I can actually ride down that street or not it's probably just a pedestrian zone but we'll give it a go so I come to look at that street and then go and look at the castle which is supposed to be very nice I uh, just hope I don't have to pay for parking because I got no cash on me okay I can go left here oh okay this is the famous street oh pretty cool I'm uh, testing out this 360 camera today. I don't know how good it is. It's a cheap crap one that we use at work. But uh, we'll give it a go. See if we can get some nice shots. So uh, aside from visiting this nice little town, uh, today's video is all about a, it's a challenge accepted challenge, which is the 3R challenge, which is three reasons uh, why you chose the bike that you did. So uh, let's get on with that. First of all, uh, I was nominated by the Gorilla Biker, who's a cool motor vlogger from Ireland who makes really nice videos. He's always going to picturesque places, and his video and sound quality is really good. So I recommend you go and check out his channel. Why the hell is there so many people here? This is Monday. Monday at 2 o'clock, and it's this busy. Haven't these people got jobs to go to? Maybe not. So I also have to nominate three people. So number one, I'm going to go for Hippo Drone, uh, who's on the motorvlog.com um, forum, who's given me tons of advice and been pretty, pretty um, helpful and nice to me because I'm still pretty much a newbie at this motor vlogging game. So also check out his channel as well if you if you will. Uh, second one, I'm going to go for. Um, a dude that I really like. He's a pretty popular YouTube guy, so I don't know if he's going to be able to find the time to do it, but Jamie Robinson from Moto Geo. Uh, check out that channel as well. It's a cool channel. And the third one... Mm, who to go for? I would say he's also a pretty big YouTuber, so I don't know if he's going to be up for the challenge or not, but a dude who I think is a doing a real good job for um, you know raising awareness and getting people to get their skill levels up and etc is uh, Fast Eddie I think it's called Moto Jitsu so you want to check out his channel too he's a really good guy as well uh, yeah so on with the reasons I have to stop here but there's no signal uh, after you so reason number one uh, when I was researching into what bike to get next checking out you know reviews and stuff I always I always like to watch 44 teeth channel because they always seem to, they give pretty fair reviews so not just them but almost everyone said what a fun bike it is so number one important most important factor for me is fun I mean why would you want to buy a bike that wasn't fun I mean I commute on this but uh, you know I want to have fun even when I'm commuting so yeah this thing is extremely good fun so that's number one it's fun well, this is a pretty cool little town isn't it everyone hope you're digging this as much as I am so reason number two <laughs> reason number two is uh, reliability and affordability so my last uh, the bike two bikes before this one I had a 690 Duke KTM 690 Duke and I blew the engine up on it <laughs> pretty funny actually I was showing off to some girls at a bus stop obviously me being the dickhead that I am pulled a third gear wheelie in front of the bus stop <laughs> just as I got to the balance point of the bike the engine seized and I just came flying back down to the ground with a, <laughs> with a bit of a tank uh, a tank slapper my handlebars all over the place and my rear wheel locked solid because the engine had seized and uh, after that I couldn't get parts to replace the, 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 um, the engine I was just I figured I'd just take it apart myself see if there's you know bearings or piston rings or piston are gone whatever but I could not get parts in this damn country 
Uh, there was one used engine for sale, but it was ridiculous. Oh, hello, biker. Hello. No, not friendly. Whoa, you see that up there, guys? What the hell is that? Sounds like a jet, but it looks like a freaking drone. What the hell is that? That is super weird. Wow, look at this river. Cool. This place is awesome. Only an hour from my house as well. Why have I never been here before? This is sweet. Okay, so reliability. Sorry, off topic again. Uh, because of the fact that my other bikes tended to blow up due to me being bad at maintenance, probably, and being too abusive, I wanted to have a brand new bike this time, not a used bike, because I wanted a warranty and I wanted reliability and all that sort of stuff. So uh, the second reason is that, basically. I wanted something that was reliable and preferably Japanese because I'm in Japan, so there won't be any problems with parts, parts and stuff like that. So number one, fun. Number two, reliability, and the cost was damn good too. And number three, uh, I've never had a, a twin, uh, never had a parallel twin before. Had V twins, I had plenty of Ducatis, but never had a parallel twin. I just thought it was a good configuration. That whole 270 degree crank, mm, singing me Bobby, just seems like a, a good, sensible way to build a bike engine. You don't want to have. Um, whoa, sorry, just lost my train of thought then, just saw something weird out of the corner of my eye. Um, yeah, so the third one is just because it was, it is easy to customise, and uh, like for example even the bloody um, Yamaha dealers these days they've got so many uh, like accessories and options and stuff and not just like lame stuff like phone holders and heated grips and stuff but these days like you can get some seriously cool factory um, factory approved or whatever you want to call it um, accessories so yeah I, th I figured that being an easy to customize bike I'd be able to personalize it you know make it my own so for now I've changed the footrests I've changed the bar to like a um, like a clip-on type adapter type of thing I did change the exhaust but now put it back to stock uh, what else have I done put four, four gaiters on and change the headlight stuff like that so it's just nice and easy to customize which is a bonus whoa kick in that means damn it don't go in but I kind of want to fuck it want to see what's at the end wah, 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 wah. hopefully I won't get told off uh, screw that it's super wet down there no thank you so yeah those are my three R's fun reliability and customizability customizability oh this is a good place to stop actually there's some freaking big old jet coming is it coming or is it going? And there's a nice view of the castle there. Maybe I'll just stop here and have a little, have a little swig of my drink bottle. And see what this plane is. So my three R challenge video is basically over. Oh dear, 105 degrees. And uh, I will go and visit the castle now and make a separate video about that. So yes, thank you for watching. And now guys, I hate to be one of those people that says, please, 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 but I'm Real, really having trouble getting subscribers. I'm down. I'm up to like uh, 650 or something like that now. But I really want to get a thousand so that I can start using the um, story thing on on YouTube. You know, where you can put pictures and like polls and stuff like that. So please, guys, please give me a like or a share or a subscribe. Help me reach that magic 1,000. Thank you very much. Wow, that is a big old bird. Do anyone know what that is? Comments, please. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.